welcome back to the driver's room We're in the Sunday League today. This is season two of 2020, uh, first round of the season, round one, tier one, and we're at Tokyo Expressway, East Outer Loop. Uh, we're in the rain, not the heaviest rain setting, but it's wet nevertheless, and uh, we're in the Viper GTS O2s. And on pole today we have Ferdek, uh, finished 10th last season in tier one after a couple of DNFs. Uh, definitely got the pace to uh, win this championship, but uh, just needs to work on his temperament a little bit. Yeah, sticking on pole today, let's see how he gets on. Second place we have Alex, our reigning tier one champion, convincing win last season, uh, ending uh, the championship 23 points ahead of everyone else. Let's see if anyone can take the fight to him in season two. In, uh, third place we have Bullet, finished fifth last season after a really strong start to the season, seemed to dip in form a little bit towards the end. Uh, yeah, back on the pace today, sticking on third. And in fourth place we have myself, DJ Rice. Uh, joined second in the championship last season, I was more than happy with that. Uh, still chasing that first uh, elusive tier one win. Let's see if we can grab that in season two. And in fifth place we have Rocker. Finished 12th last season. Don't think his results really reflected his uh, true pace. You can see he's sticking on fifth, qualifying well today. Let's see how he gets on in season two. Sixth place we have Desla, joint second in the championship last year. A uh, bit of a poor round in round five last year and missed two other rounds that prevented him really taking the fight to Alex last season. Let's, uh, let's see how he gets on. Starting sixth today, so he's got a fair bit to do from there. In the seventh place we have Joker, promoted from tier two last season, finishing third. Uh, picked up a win and a podium along the way. Reasonably good qualifying position today. Let's see how he gets on from seventh. In 8th place we have Mungino, 6th uh, last season after a couple of races to forget, uh, picked up a win on the podium also, so definitely capable of uh, pushing for a championship challenge, but uh, needs a consistent season, we'll see how he gets on from 8th. 9th uh, place we have Muller, 11th uh, last season, pretty similar to Mungino, definitely got the pace to whip, uh, win this championship, but um, got caught up in a few uh, first lap incidents. And a bit of an unlucky season last season for Muller. We'll see how he gets on in season two. And in tenth place we have Martin B, tier two champion. Absolutely ran away with the season last season uh, with <laughs> four wins. Extremely quick driver. Definitely looks, um, yeah, definitely want to keep an eye on this season. We'll see how he gets on from tenth today. And in eleventh place we have MJR Mercer. Uh, Mr. Driver's Room, 7th in the championship last season for Mercer, pretty consistent points all throughout the season, did pick up a third place in round 5 I think, uh, definitely be hoping for more of the same in season 2, and in 12th place we have Daz, 9th uh, last season, again pretty pretty consistent points all throughout the season, seems a little bit better than most on tyre wear and improving pace, so definitely to, uh, one to keep an eye on this season, got to be hoping for the top 5s and podiums. Uh, 13th place we have Wilco, 8th uh, last season, had a bit of a nightmare last round, uh, didn't p pick up any points or improve on his points at all, so ended up drop dropping from 5th in the championship to 8th. But yeah, got a lot of pace, uh, picked up a 2nd place and was challenging for the win in round 6 I believe. And in 14th place we have Canny, finished 17th last season, definitely a few races to forget, put behind him. Uh, fresh season, season two. He's got a lot to do starting at the back today, but this uh, track car combo should throw up an interesting race. But that is our grid walk for today. Let's get underway. So here we are, them Tokyo Expressway East Outer Loop. Engines on, we build up with revs, beautiful Dodge Vipers. And uh, let's see if everyone gets away cleanly in the tunnel. Looking back from Ferdick's point of view, Ferdick's had a pretty good start. Alex has had a good start on second as well. But yeah, everyone's away cleanly. You can see it's a long run down to T1. And uh, come out of the tunnel. We've got to mention at the start, everyone on intermediates today, apart from Joker, I think he started on the full wets. But uh, Ferdick retaining the lead into T1. Just about to come up to the braking point just before the 200 metre board as the road bottlenecks a little bit there. Well, nearly three abreast going into T1, and that looks like myself running wide, hitting the walls. I think I hit Alex into Ferdek. I think I hit Bullet in the rocker as well there, so a bit of a bit of a mess. And you see myself just giving up a few places, dropping right back through the grid. But uh, Alex taking the lead out of T2 there. 
So, um, yeah, third at getting forced into the wall and uh, dropping the place. His bullet's still in third place. Rock up to fourth now with myself dropping back. You've got Desda up into fifth, Mangino sixth, Martin, Martin up into seventh. Martin's had a really good start. It's, uh, yeah, it's very difficult. Difficult car to keep neat and tidy on this track. Looks like Joker's had a bit of an incident, is it uh, up against the wall there, so Joker down to 10th, moves me up into the 9th place. See Rocker all over the back of Bullet at the moment, you've got Desla really close behind as well as we come up to the hairpin for the first time. Another second uh, heavy braking zone on this track, you know, things could go really wrong, Alex leaving everyone in. Got Bullet and Third, Rocker fourth. There was a bit of contact there between Bullet and Rocker. So yeah, Desla moving up to I think yeah, Rocker's pulled to one side there as well. So Martin up into fourth place around the hairpin there. Brilliant first lap from Martin, moving up from uh, tenth place, tenth place to fourth. Yeah, so definitely want to keep an eye on. He's got a lot of pace. So end of lap one, we got Alex in first, Third in second, Desla in third. Just coming to the tunnel. Massive slipstream. So who's at the front of this train? You've got Ferdek right at the front of this group of cars. Might come under pressure into T1. We'll see how this plays out. There's up to the podium place now. Looks like bullet. So bullets recovered reasonably well. And uh, side by side with Mangino into T1 by the looks of it. Uh, Mungino just yielding a little bit just to get a better entry. I think Bullets really overshot that, um, overshot T1 there as well. There's a bit of contact in the background, as you can hear. It's that, I don't know, someone ran up, ran up against the wall there. I think that was Canny. So he's lost the place to Muller. Muller up until 11th. Bullet still in fifth place, so he looks a little bit untidy in T1 there, but so oh, I think he just makes contact with Martin there. Just, uh, doesn't take the place, but uh, slowed them both down quite a bit. Bullet's going to be under pressure from a lot. Mercer's up into sixth place out of nowhere now as well. The golf livery looking really nice on the Viper. So yeah, Mercer doing well up into sixth place, Bullet in the fifth now. And that looks like Desla putting Ferdick under pressure. So Desla pushing for that second place. And Ferdick just needs to get his head down, talking about his temperament at the start. This obviously just makes contact with the wall there. He's got two and a half second penalty already, and Desla might have a run onto run onto him into the hairpin now. So you see Ferdick game really defensive, he's gonna compromise his line, yeah, so he's Completely overshot the hairpin there. He's lost a couple of places. So Desler up into second, Martin into third place now. But uh, Ferdick, oh, as he just struggles to get the power down a little bit. But uh, he can slot right in, get that slipstream. It looks like Bullets had a good run out of the hairpin. He might challenge Ferdick for that fourth place. Yeah, he's already up alongside him. So, yeah, a lot more overspeed coming out of that hairpin. And Martin be the one under pressure in the T1 now by the looks of it. So I got myself back up to seventh. Good run through the grid, yes. Muller tenth, Mungino eleventh, Daz in twelfth, and Ryan Wilco in thirteenth, Kenny in fourteenth. Alex uh, putting a bit of a gap now, it's all kicking off behind him, so it's allowed him to just pull away. That's, who's that on the inside of T1? Slowing down enough there. I don't think there was any contact, but that's Bullets moved himself up into third place in the braking zone of T1 by the looks of it. As, uh, Martin's dropped down to fifth. Ferdex moved up to fourth as well. See, so, yeah, I did say Martin was going to be under pressure into T1 at the uh, front of that train. It's pretty much how this, this track plays out. Slipstream is a massive factor. And the uh, positioning of your car coming out of the last corner. Sometimes always bullet runs a little bit wide there, but it's sometimes it's almost worth yielding a place at the hairpin just to get the slipstream 
down the main straight, but um, Furlick back down to fifth. So Martin's moved himself up into fourth. Dropped back a fair bit there, Furlick, as well, as he might have had a little bit of an incident. He's under pressure from Mercer at the moment. Got myself as well, uh, right behind Mercer. We've got Rocker recovering after a little bit of an incident with Bullet. Rocker back up to eight under a bit of, pre under a bit of pressure from Joker. So Furdeck hitting the wall again. So yeah, Furdeck really, really struggling to uh, get the consistency down at the moment. Uh, it looks like. Let's see what happens, Martin having a look at bullet into the hairpin. Takes the inside, but um, yeah, pretty sensible on the brakes. Slots back in, and uh, yeah, as I say, not really worth getting the overtake done there because you get more of a benefit off the slipstream down this long long straight coming up so put it in third place at the moment uh, Martin in fourth, third and fifth still under pressure from Mercer like myself and Rock has really closed that gap up as well now so he's pulling and Muller is where Muller's come out of nowhere up until ninth did have Joker so Joker must have had an incident around the hairpin seems just ditching a penalty there so Muller at the back of this train uh, third at the front of it you see Martin and Bullet going side by side at the moment as well, a little bit further up the road. Just going to the seven minute mark now. So yeah, Martin back up into third place. So yeah, didn't, as I said, uh, didn't get the overtake done at the hairpin. Bullet might be having a little look. Now thinks twice about it, slots back in the fourth place. So, see how this panned out. So Felix managed to, oh, I'd say just about held on to that place, but he's run wide into the wall. Mercer gets ahead of him. He just about slots back in front of myself as Rocker, myself and Rocker going side by side behind as well. So Rocker gets ahead. Rocker moving himself up to seventh place. And uh, yeah, Bullet still keeping the pressure on Martin at the moment. Mercer up to fifth place now. Yeah, good race from Mercer so far. Sitting on the back of the uh, back of this little group of cars ahead, and see myself really running wide there. So, oh, the rocker runs, runs a little bit wide, makes contact with the wall. It's uh, just not, not enough space yet to make a move. So myself still in eighth, and I thought Furlick was ahead of Mercer there, but Mercer's still holding on to fifth place. He runs a little bit wide coming out of the corner. I think Rocker and Furlick made contact there. That slowed a pair of them down, but I'll say a pair of them. Rocker's had a pretty good exit, but let's see if he can see if he runs too deep into the hairpin. And oh that's myself running really wide there and just clattering him. Uh oh, absolute mess there, so I think I've just Missed my breaking point a little bit there. Collected rock, collected rocker a little bit, and that's allowed Furdick back ahead of uh, this group. Uh, say back ahead of it. Mercer's got away cleanly now, so a bit of clean air for Mercer. Furdick back ahead of this group of four cars behind. Uh, himself at the back of it now, and Muller up into eight. That's a quick run through the grid. See where Alex is now. He's not getting much coverage at the moment because. Uh, Company in first place, tier one champion running away with this race at the moment, but uh, just under no pressure. Everyone getting caught up in the uh, fights behind. Desert's in a little bit of clear air now, see if he can do anything for second place. Uh, second, third, and fourth there. Desert, Martin, and Bullet pretty evenly spaced out. Bullet drifts his way around the corner to Mer Mercer in fifth as Rocker runs right into T1. I don't know if he had a bit of contact uh, going into the corner, but loses a place to uh, Furdeck again. Furdeck back up in the sixth, Rocker in seventh, myself and Muller. Just looks like I've got ahead of Muller. So we come around this flat out left hander into the sweeping right hander. It's got really good, really nice flow to this track to be fair. Uh, in certain sections. So um, yeah, it's just about go so so wrong so quickly. Uh, obviously just like Monaco being surrounded by walls. Isn't ideal, but it makes the racing quite interesting, nevertheless. But uh, Ferdex still in sixth place. It's all a little bit untidy with this group battling behind. Have a little look further back down the order. So can he run in 11th at the moment? Daz in the last uh, top 10 position. There's a yellow flag. 
and that looks like Rocker and maybe Ferdick. As uh, I think we've lost Ferdick. Let's take a little look back. Uh, we'll just go a little bit further back. Just go for a lovely on-board shot with uh, Rocker at the moment. So Ferdick ahead, and so I was just waffling on about this group of cars getting a little bit untidy. And uh, yeah, Rocker closing the gaps. We can't see this left hand up. Oh, a little bit of contact there. So Ferdick into the wall. Ah, oh, so yeah. Ooh. Bit, maybe a bit 50-50 that contact with, with Rocker and Freddy going in and then yeah I think Freddy just bounced back and collected Rocker but um, Ferdex rage quit I think so another DNF for Ferdex first round of the season um, but yeah everyone starting on pole and ended up in the position he's in I can sort of understand why but Mate, anything can happen in these races, so yeah, it's always worth getting your head down and, and cracking on. But uh, rejoining the top guys now, this could be Desla under pressure from Martin. Let's go on board again just because it looks gorgeous. Love this car, but so uh, yeah, comfortably picking up that slipstream now as he as he set goes purple as well. That might have been the fastest lap of the race, not really come up properly on the deltas, but uh. So yeah, he's comfortably in front going into T1. Let's see if there's the things about a move. As Martin stays a little bit to the right hand side. He's just letting him know he's prepared to go defensive if he needs to. And doesn't slow the car down in time. This should give Desda a run. So yeah, Desda back up into second place there. Yeah, very easy to get that, that T1 braking point just slightly wrong. If you're turning the car a little bit, if you're not braking absolutely uh, as well as you can, uh, any deviation in the car just adds a, a metre or two to your stopping distance. And so Mercer in fifth place now, you've got Muller in sixth place, myself in seventh, Dad is up into eighth place now, obviously you have Rocker and um, instruments between Rocker and Ferdex. Dad's gaining a couple of places there, Rocker getting his head down, getting back on with it now, under pressure from Kenny. Uh, Wilco in 11th, do like the livery on that car, so Wilco 11th, Mungino down to 12th now, and uh, Joker right at the back in 13th place, and just come up to the halfway point of this race, and uh, well, everyone's going to have to pit for fuel at some point, but um, so I think most people will hit around the 15 minute mark obviously but it'd be probably not this lap but the next so Alex absolutely running away with this race at the moment 2 minutes 16 to see uh, barely half a second difference between the 4 or 5 laps that he's set so far brilliant consistency absolutely on it at the moment um, Desla just setting his personal best of the race on the last lap and he's going to be under, probably under pressure from Martin at the end of uh, this straight again, going into T1. Bullet not that far behind, I think he's just about, just about getting a toe. He's staying in touch with the guys in front, so Mercer, Muller and myself, a little bit of field spread now with this, with this uh, half race long battle that's been happening. You've got Rocker, I think that's Rocker peeling into the pits there. Okay, so Rocker going for the early one, trying to get an undercut done. So he's in eighth place when he pitted. We'll see how that. Uh, so he's in ninth place when he pitted. See how that pans out. Say so most of these cars will be coming into the end of this lap. As uh, so we just see how this goes, we'll go up into ninth place, challenging uh, Daz for eighth. Sorry. Uh, Candy challenging Wilco for 9th, uh, Wilco holding on to 9th, Candy in 10th, Mungino still 11th, Joke in 12th, Rocker Rip feeds back out in 13th for now. Let's so we'll see how that pans out. And uh, again while I was waffling on, I did say Martin was going to put uh, Desla under pressure into T1 and I think he's got the job done there. Oh so, yeah, Martin up into P2. 215.8 from uh, Martin on lap 5 so that's the fastest lap of the race so far it's 
giving Alex something to think about at least. It's coming to the end of lap seven now. He's done a really good job on the on the fuel as well. See Desla going critical now, but uh, bullet's critical as well. Mercer. Mula. Looks like I've saved a little bit. Uh, Daz, Daz done a really good job on the fuel as well. As is Wilco. And Joker up into 10th at the back now, so there's been a bit of an incident somewhere. Kenny and Mungino battling for 11th and 12th. A bit of an incident somewhere because Wilco's got a comfortable gap back to uh, Kenny now. Should be uh How's Alex going again? So yeah, Alex done a really good job with the fuel and I was considering the paces we're setting, but um see everyone diving into pits behind two percent fuel, Desla right on the uh right on the cusp of uh, running out of fuel there. A PB for Alex in sector one, not really much to go off in sector one though, it's just a straight line. Tire wear not too bad though. That uh, rain helping to to cool the uh, cool the rears a little bit, and uh, Martin rejoins the race in second. Desa rejoins in third. Mungino choosing not to pick this lap either, so goes for another one. Moves himself up into probably third place for now. Yet yeah. so he sweeps through. Massive speed difference uh, between cars when you you're coming out of the pit at that point on the straight. Uh, Bullet rejoining fifth. Mercer in sixth. Muller in seventh. And uh, looks like Daz has got the jump on myself in the pits here. And uh, uh, Daz is fueling a little bit shorter than um, I ch chose to put a fuel tank in. I don't know why, but so Mercer up ahead of this group, and is that Muller sweeping around, retains seventh place. Uh, yeah, seventh, eighth, and ninth all positions retained for the moment. But uh, as I'll just make two places up there. I think uh, Daz, Daz and Muller had a bit of a poor exit out of T2. I got myself up into 7th place, Muller down the 8th, Daz into the 9th now. Uh, Rocker in 10th place. He's got Mungino to pit up ahead. But, um, yeah, was he 8th or 9th? I can't remember, but uh, not much of an undercut done, but he's in clear air now. He can just run his own race for the uh, last 12 minutes. Wilco just on the back of him in, in 11th, going to have better tyre wear towards the end. See if he can just stay in touch with Rocker for the moment, put him under pressure towards the end. He's got Joker in 12th, just, uh, just ahead of Canny, so Canny just getting a bit damaged there on the front right. And uh, Alex finally pitting from the lead as well, first place. That's a bit of movement up ahead. So I think Daz and Muller just trading places there. Uh, just uh, noticed it on the graphic. But, uh, so yeah, Daz showing good pace at the moment, 2.17.6 uh, his PB so far, and just goes in out, sits behind Muller coming up into the main straight, a little bit of a gap up ahead, seems I've closed the gap to, to a Mercer, just got on the end of his uh, slipstream going onto this straight as well, so might be in a good position going into C1. See Mungino finally pitting as well. Starting to starting to pick that slipstream up now. Just about a car length ahead on the brakes is Mercer. Pretty sensible on the brakes behind. Is he taking a late look? So I think I run a little bit wide there, but. Uh, just about get, just about keep hold of fifth place there. I will say so myself. I've got a strange habit of getting really untidy after making an overtake. Don't know if it's just excitement or what, but um, yeah, I struggle to get get back on the pace for for a few seconds after getting an overtake done. Just uh, exploiting my own weaknesses there. But you've got Daz back up into seventh place now, so he's obviously got the job done uh, going into T1. Um, and so he's following Muller out of the hairpin onto the straight. So he's got the slipstream, got the move done at the end of it. 
So myself in fifth, Mercer sixth, Daz in seventh, Miller in eighth, Rocker in ninth, still uh, doing enough to stay ahead of Wilco at the moment. Wilco in tenth, Mugino clean air in eleventh. So you've got Canny coming under pressure from Joker at the back of the grid. So Joker's chosen, uh, gone for the full wets again by the looks of it. Both going a bit sideways there. The 20 minute mark, two thirds of the race done. And uh, I've just missed Mercer re overtaken. Let's have a little quick, quick look back. So, yeah, literally, as I was saying a minute ago, when I might get an overtake done, I get a little bit untidy for a few corners afterwards. So, um, you can see going a little bit. Nothing too bad, but good momentum from Mercer. And that looks really wide there. Contact with the wall, that'd be a penalty as well. And a comfortable overtake from Mercer in the end. He just gets gets the nose in for that corner. So yeah, Mercer back up to fifth place, myself down to sixth. To another unforced error. up. Dad's up into seventh. Muller in eighth. So uh, might well be in a position to challenge Mercer for that fifth place again at the end of the straight. We'll see how it goes. We're just rejoining the leader now at uh, the end of his outlap. And uh, yeah, it's running away with his race a little bit. So two, 2.23 for the outlap. 2.24 for Martin's outlap. Still got that fastest lap though. So it's sort of time he does here. It's a high 2.16 at the moment. So it starts getting back on the pace now. Uh, Second quicker than Desler at the moment, 217 for Desler, 218 for Brocco, another second behind, and yeah, it looks like I've just got myself ahead of Mercer in the tunnel. So Mercer might well uh, challenge back into T1. Sorry, I do love this one, ball shot, side pipers look gorgeous side on. Oh, a little bit of door rubbing. Mercer a little bit later on the brakes. And uh, yeah, neat enough, just keep, just about keeps it out of the wall, but uh, I've got the inside of T2, just about, oh, a little bit of a graze of the wall, but I think I'll get away with that, back up in the fifth place, so that battle carrying on, and uh, Muller up into seventh place as well, so uh, fifth and sixth trading places, seventh and eighth trading places also. Still just, uh, just under 10 minutes of race to go. All to play for it. And it looks like Wilco's got ahead of Rocker as well. So Wilco making a move somewhere. Maybe Rocker getting a little bit untidy as well. That tyre wear kicking in a little bit. Tyre's really fresh for Wilco at the moment. Good to go flat out until the end of the race. I'm getting a little bit further back. Might be in a position to get, the, get a good few laps in. Close the gap on Rocker in, in 10th. Uh, Joker just doing enough to stay ahead of Canny at the moment. So yeah, it's rejoining the leader Alex, getting some just getting some air times. You don't get a lot when you're just out in front all by yourself. I say reigning tier one champion and a very dominant display of the first race of season two. Didn't get pole, but um, a fortunate set of events. Uh, me being a cat catalyst in the T1 of causing a few incidents, pinball effect with a few cars, and uh, Ferdek ended up losing out. And uh, Alex got himself ahead, and Ferdek's just just been battling that ever since. And uh, second place back have all been in battles and fights, and Alex has just absolutely run away with this race. So barring any any huge mistakes from this point, he's looking pretty comfortable. You see Martin just getting in the low two sixteens again now. So I said that the uh, on the grid walk, this guy's definitely one to watch out for. I've been in a few practice sessions with him, um, a few practice lobbies, and yeah, he, he's lap, lap times are very very good. Definitely. Um, Definitely a, a uh, contender for the championship this season. Mm -hmm. 
so I thought we were saying further back but yeah waffling on to Martin in second place uh, Desler in third at the moment I think he'll settle for a podium all things considered first race of the season but um, yeah at least a three horse race uh, this championship at the very least as I say at least well at least half the grid uh, capable of winning races it all just comes down to consistency and with the sun, Sunday League you do get a good variation with track and car combo so it does throw up a good mix of results from time to time Himself still just holding on to fifth place ahead of Mercer uh, Daz has closed that gap right up to us as well now so just drop Muller back a little bit and, uh, so Wilco seems to be doing the same to Rocker Rocker really struggling with that tyre wear now as well I think uh, Mangino with seven seconds of penalty to ditch behind is closing the gap but that's going to cost him a fair bit Joker still ahead of Canny is Canny crawling all over the back of him at the moment tidy through that section no similar similar lap times and personal best from these guys so they'll be battling to the last lap by the looks of it and is that that is ahead of Mercer that is so maybe at the hairpin I think that's got ahead but Mercer now with the slipstream but Daz is also getting that slipstream from myself in front. Miller's just uh, just dropping off this pack a little bit. I'll lead everyone into T1 for it's like one of the first times I've been ahead of of a pack of uh, cars going into T1. I'm leading tidy there. So, uh, Myself fifth, Daz in sixth, now Mercer down to seventh, Muller in eighth. Where are we at? 27 minutes. This race just settling down a little bit now, but uh, is Alex going purple? So Alex is after that fastest lap. 2.15.4 two from Alex. I think Martins was a 2.15.6. And. Um, yeah, this stage of the race, let's have a look at Martin's. Uh, Martin's tyres are still good, 2.16.2 last time for Martin, but um, that may well snatch the fastest lap away from him and give, I'll say give Alex the clean sweep. He didn't get pole because Ferdek got pole, but um, yeah, great pace from Alex. I was saying, all the top drivers in the drivers' room, even when they're winning races, are still able to pull out. Um, extremely quick lap, lap times really uh, push the car to its limits it's really reinforce your, uh, your first place status so Alex crossing the line a little bit slower that time around but uh, yeah I don't if mine doesn't beat that lap this 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 time around no I don't think he will, so I think uh, Alex has snatched the, snatched the fastest lap away from him towards the end of the race. Here. It's under two minutes to go now. As, uh, this will be the last lap for most of these cars. Bullet, uh, Desmond comes from third, Bullet in fourth. Looks like he's chasing Pack, he's closing the gap to Bullet a little bit. We'll see how these, this lot get on down the straight again. All positions the same at the moment. Daz has, got a, Daz has got a second and a half penalty to ditch and chooses to get rid of that now so that's going to give me a bit of breathing room into T1 but Mercer's closing that gap Daz dropping right to the back of this group uh, completely completely ditched that penalty now though and uh, myself fifth, Mercer in sixth now Miller up into seventh, Daz in eighth clear air in ninth. Uh, Mangino is up to 10th now so Rocker down to 13 so Rocker's had a, an incident somewhere so still five seconds of penalty to, to get rid of for Mung but um, so we'll be the first one to admit not a fan of uh, wet weather conditions struggling the day in the Viper so Kenny in 11th finally got ahead of Joker 
see if he can hold on to that position. He's got two seconds of penalty to get rid of though, but uh, 30 seconds of the race left as uh, Rockers cross the line as well, so everyone on the last lap now. Closest cars on track, still this group has uh, yeah, really closing the gap. Two minutes, 2.18.7 and a 2.18.2 from myself. So we're really chasing Bullet down now at this stage of the race and smash into the wall and get a second and a half penalty. And that's just coming up to the hairpin for the last time and Muller in sixth place, he's probably seen that second and a half penalty. He's going to be coming up. I think he's going to be in a position to, to grab fifth, fifth place right on the line, but just about catching the leader crossing the line. Alex, congratulations. It's a convincing win. Uh, second place, starting second place and finishing first. Martin, first uh, first race of the Sunday League, finishing second, very, very convincing. Uh, good pace. Desler in third place, picking up the last podium position. And we'll have a look down the grid now. Still got second penalty to ditch. So Desler in third, Bullet in fourth, myself in fifth. Muller chasing, just getting rid of that penalty now on the line. And oh, Muller, Nick, Muller Nick's fifth place, myself in sixth, Daz in seventh, Mercer finishing in, finishing in eighth in the end, uh, Wilco in ninth, Mungino tenth, Kenny eleventh. Uh, is he going to be eleventh? Stitching that penalty? Yeah, he's, he's far enough ahead of Joker now, so Kenny doing enough to hold on to eleventh place there. Joker in twelfth, and Rocker unfortunately thirteen, falling down at the back. Uh, on the last lap there, but uh, a great race, great race lads, uh, and that's the first race of the season done. Look forward to the rest. And, uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you next week.